What's up, you guys? So, I just got back from the store, and guess what, people? I finally found it. And as you can tell from the title of this video, we are going to be doing a tour review on the Jurassic World the Camp Cretaceous Dino Escape Roar Attack Allosaurus. And it is already looking pretty cool upon just viewing it. So we got the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous logo, we got Toro, we got Darius, Dino Escape, Roar Tech, Allosaurus. <laughs> level 3 level of sound. <laughs> the Allosaurus, the Kentrosaurus, we got the Kentrosaurus and the Ceratosaurus. All I need left is the Kentrosaurus and my, lab, and my Wave 2 collection will be complete. Although I'm not going to really look for it, like seek it out, unlike the Allosaurus. And my Ceratosaurus video came out 22 days ago. And little did I know, 22 days after that video came out, I would find this beauty. Obviously, you see the, the back and the street a little bit sound. And, but let's just get this thing out of the box because I really need to get it out of the box. I, I don't want to get it out of the box. I need to get it out of the box because, well, I mean, you know. Come on. I've been anticipating this figure ever since I've figured out. And yes, these are now sold at your local tar. These are now sold at tar Target. Now, the price tag, I believe the price tag is, well, on the Target app, or website it says it's $16.99 but when I got mine it was $14.99 and how did I figure it out well because I well because me and my mom went to the self-checkout section and well I figured out that the that the outsource actually costed $14.99. And I really do want to preserve, preserve the box along with not damaging the outsource at, at all. Alright, so we got the tail right here. Let's set the box aside. It is leaning over a little bit. My outsource is leaning over a little bit. And it's, uh, it's also got a little bit of paint splotch right there. But and this is what it looks like without its tail currently. And this is what it looks like now. So here we have the the brand new the Wave 2 Roar Attack Allosaurus. And it, my goodness, it looks absolutely incredible. Now, this is the only Allosaurus that I have that actually, like, legitimately stands well. Because the last two before this Allosaurus, or before the Roar Tech Allosaurus, first there was the Roar Wars Allosaurus. Okay, now he, okay, he's going to lean over like this. So, for the first Allosaurus, we had the Roar Attack Allosaurus, and it didn't stand too well initially. And the Dual Attack Allosaurus, it didn't stand that well either. In fact, I actually had to shove wire in their legs, so that way it could be a little bit tighter. And we're going to compare it between those two as well, along with the Roar Attack Ceratosaurus and the Metriacanthosaurus. So now I officially own three Roar Attack figures. So now all I need left to find for the Allosaurus is the, is the wave, wave, I, I think this is actually wave three or wave four, if I'm not mistaken. Because I know we had the, because I know we had the Chaos and, uh, I know we had Chaos, the Allosaurus and Oranosaurus, but I think those were wave two. So this might be the act. This might actually be the wave three Allosaurus or wave four. I'm not sure. But overall, the Allosaurus looks pretty awesome, even though I just taken it, took it out of the box. 
And I love the fact that the tails are actually articulated now because, actually, hold on real quick. All right, so, um, so I, I got all the figures I'll be comparing it with. So prior to the Roar Tech line, we either didn't have any articulation in the tail whatsoever, or for this, or for the Roar Boar Ceratosaurus, it's had a swivel in its tail, and that was literally the most it could do. And But for the dual attack Allosaurus, it had a swivel in its tail. Again, no no real articulation. At the, but now for this Allosaurus, we have a ball joint, and I really like the fact that it does have a ball joint. Now, unfortunately, the Metriacanthosaurus... Now, unfortunately, the Metriacanthosaurus does not have an articulated tail. I don't know why they decided to not give this one an articulated tail, especially since this is the only non-Camp Cretaceous Dinoscape Roar Tech figure ever. And also, mine's, my, Metriacanth my Metri's lower jaw, or upper jaw, sometimes it gets stuck like this. I don't know why. Huh? And luckily, it doesn't get stuck while I'm playing with the action feature. But anyways, I think the reason why the thing is standing more proper now is because of the fact that the legs are actually designed a bit better now. Because originally these, this was the leg design. It, it wasn't really working that well. Of course, this one can stand now because it actually has wire in it. But as you can see, the, the legs are a bit more unique on this one. So, um, yeah. So for articulation points... Yes, the jaw does open very wide. Obviously, because it's for the action feature. The arm can rotate, or the arms can rotate and pivot. The legs can rotate and pivot. And as we have mentioned earlier and went through, the tail is on a ball joint, which is very lovely. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the Wave 1 Allosaurus or the Wave 2 Allosaurus yet, but honestly, I don't care that much because I think this one is a little is a little bit better than that one. So, for its action feature, this is the first level sound. Let's do that again. And for this one, it barely even opens its mouth. Like for the Metriacanthosaurus, it opened its mouth a little bit, and for the Ceratosaurus, it has a briefly open mouth. But it also opened its mouth a little bit too. But this one barely opens its mouth. But it's not too much of an issue for me. As long as the action feature works, I'm fine with it. And now for the second level. And now, finally, for the third level. It works a little bit better like this now. But anyways, so... This is the Roar Attack Allosaurus. It's pretty nifty. Mine does have a little bit of a splotch right here. It has a little bit of a blue... But I don't mind it that much, and I kind of do like it, because it almost looks like a birthmark. Or, at least, a marking that it may have had since it was born. Which, like, that's literally what a birthmark is. But anyways, comparing it to the Roar, Roar Attack Metriacanthosaurus. 
and the Roar Taxeratosaurus. This one is obviously a little, this one's a little bit bigger than the, than the two. So yeah, they are now finally showing up at Targets. I found this one at a different Target. Not my usual Target, but like a Target that I only, uh, a Target I only ever go to, like I, I only ever went there like once prior to finding this, this creature. But anyways, compared to the Roar Wars Allosaurus, this one is a little bit bigger-ish. It still kind of holds up well after three years going on four. And for my latest Allosaurus, minus the Roar Attack, the Dual Attack Allosaurus. And personally, I think this one is a lot better than the Dual Attack Allosaurus. Personally, I think this is a lot better than the than the dual attack. Well, I do like the colors on it, and I kind of wish that they would apply for this one. Honestly, this one's just the more superior one, and I prefer it over. I prefer this one more. So, I really like the figure, and I would highly recommend it. They are now starting to surface at Targets, so go to your local Target and find it. When I went to the Target on my on my app. It didn't have any options for pickup, delivery, nor shipping, but it did say it was in stock in stores. So it may you may have that similar experience. But if you can't find it online, just go find it in the just go search your store. But overall, this is a pretty cool figure. I really like it. I'll see you guys in the next video. And goodbye.